In this video, we'll continue on with the point of sale system JavaScript part 17. So in this video, we're going to focus on or continue on with this specific part here. So I know that many people are requesting for next part of this video because I was working on one project. And because of that, I have delayed this, this point of sales project. However, I will continue on with this from now on. Anyway, so what we're going to do here is basically we had this one here and what we want to do was we want to increase this and if we decrease this, this all works. But here right now, behind the scenes, nothing is being registered except a artificial number here. So there's no array in here that recognizes what this really does. And the reason why it doesn't recognize this is because how we build our structure is different. And as I indicated before, once we put in this button, we must restructure. And I noticed that we will be restructuring a lot more than what I first thought. Anyway, what we're going to do is here first, I'm going to make it very simple. I'm going to focus on one specific item is here, building the array in here. Because once we build the array in here, we can then start to work on counting this. However, the counting of this will be different as well. Why? Because you have to see here. We have the number here multiplied by how many are available and then we have another number here multiplied by this so we'll be using later on probably not in this video but in the next video we're going to use the uh, calculations with probably map array however i did discover we have a structural flaw meaning that there's something in it that's at the foundation that is incorrect that we need to restructure later on not because it's wrong but for this structuring here with these buttons that will be a huge requirement so anyway, don't worry about that. We will go along in the video step by step. For now, what I want to do is just do very basic. And this took me some time to really figure out, but eventually I have that one done. And basically it's quite simple. Let's go down here and search for uh, the JavaScript section. Sorry, let's go here. Then in here, we need to work with a new array. And later on, we need to start figuring out this this item id array and that will be that's a structural flaw we need to use this later on however doesn't matter for now what i want you to do is make a new constant and this constant we can call our we will name the order item quantity which basically does what it says it will register the quantity of an item this is necessary because we don't have that right now here right now here it will not see if we pre click on a plus button, oh, sorry, if you click on the incremental button, it will not increase in the array. So that's what we need to do first. So let's save this one here. Once we did this, what I want to do here is basically in here, we can push this. So here, push. And what are we going to push here? Well, what we're going to do is for now, which will be very simple, we just say plus one or basically one. We assume that when you click on this, it's plus one. Later on, we need to make as well this intelligent. And that will be like this. So when I click on this, it should be intelligent enough to understand we have this number here. And this should be incremented in here. And then it should be plus one again. However, that is, of course, a different structuring that we need with the uh, item ID. And this here might even be, I realize that this we could even restructure in a data structure. This here, all these arrays could be maybe in a single array. Uh, what we call data structure array. However, for now, I'll just leave that as I, I'm learning also new things as we uh, progress as well. So what are we going to do? This here first. We have this one here. Once we did this, I want to go down here and let's go do this quickly because this should be a short video. Here, in the increment item. So when we press on this and then we press on this increment button, it should increment as well the array because let's show you here. Let me show you here right now. What we did with this total items, we just selected the length. How long is this array item here? So the total item is a length. So I guess we can just search here. Uh, length uh, order item array. You can see this is a length. And this is not allowed right later on. Because we need to use here to reduce. Because we need to calculate how many of these items we have. If we have another one, it's plus plus. This is not two because that's the length. That's how the length is being calculated. As you can see here. It recognizes the length here, but we don't want this. What we want is to calculate the plus on this. Uh, the, so this one will be later on adjusted. However, you can see this is based directly on the order item array, meaning that there is no 
quantity as well. So what we're going to do in here, you can see here, this is the order item array. And then what we want to do here, first of all, let's move a certain item above. But it's this one here. You can see this is the one we need. This here, index number will be very, very important later. I'm going to move this up. And the reason why is we need to get the index number because we need to now figure out where would be the position of any specific value here and well let me refresh here if i click on this then if i do here a minus you will see we get this well let's do two and then we do minus you see we have now still what's left is index number one my index or this is not even index number one this is number one now because it's element or index zero so this is in our race because we we uh what is that we remove or split the other item so then this one will be in here so this is very very important is it split or splice sorry i guess it's splice or slice so we're removing one item the other item moves here so this is very important to understand so what we're going to do here is then basically simply this i'm going to put in here a uh, item now we can just say here the order item order item quantity array and um, let's do it here the console log this console log will show you exactly what we had so here click plus plus all right oh let me refresh this maybe to make sure we have this all right so we have the plus 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 so what it shows now is the quantity only and it's correct now quantity is one and one however i want to increase that now so what i'm going to do here is simply the quantity here we need to figure out, of course, the index number. So we get the index number. So we say here the following. Quantity and an index number. The index number would be basically based on whatever we selected here. If we select one of these items, it will recognize 0 or 1. It will search the position of that. Then you get the index number. And then what we want to do here is to increase this. So what we're going to say here is the following. Uh, we get this, all right. And then what I want to do here is the following. I want to say here, basically this. I'm going to grab this. Then we say we reassign whatever the index number is here, that specific index number with the new value we have here, which is this one here. Because remember here we calculate this. It goes automatic. So if I save this now, let's refresh, select, and I'm going to do plus, plus, plus. All right, so you can see this, but there's maybe one thing I don't want. It's this here. You can see here the uh, string value. It should be a blue. If it's in console or red, it becomes a string and it's also a quotation. So let's force this a parse int. So we're just going to grab this one here, parse int, just to make again this a number. So just grab this, plus, plus, plus. All right. And there we are. So it should be, that's five. And I realize this is six. All right. So what's going on? Oh, oh that's correct. The reason why it's six afterwards is very simple because it will add it up afterwards. So meaning if I move this one here, so it will first add up and then do the console log. Refresh, let's try it one more time. Plus, let's do three, four, five, six, seven. All right, go down. And then there we are. All right, so if I click two, let's see here. You can see here which one is right now incrementing. And then here we can see as well which one is and then what I realized here, you can see as well, is immediately the uh, removal of that specific one as well. So meaning here we have this, the splice, and the splice will be the quantity item here. We can just do that one, say dot splice. So we're going to remove the index number, comma, number one. Save this, refresh, let's check plus 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 all right minus 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 there we are do again and now this time we have different items here you can see we increment this one we just recognize the position nicely we do this it recognizes position nicely as well we click on that one we do now the pizza or number uh let's see what is this i'm not sure what that one is the pizza number five let's double check did it work correctly or did i saw something weird you see a tree, all right. Three. Uh, did I check correctly? So if I press on this, number two, all right. So that works all fine. 
sorry, I thought I uh, saw something else, but no, that is not. So it should be all correct. I'll go down, 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 down. All right. So this works all nicely. And if I remove these, does it work? I think this one here still needs to be matched up. As you can see here, if you click on this, it doesn't remove any more that item. So that's what we need to do as well. So what is that button? Let's search for that. Uh, the function, I need to just figure out what's that function here. The function in here is the delete item. So we're going to search here for delete item. And in the delete item, here we have the same uh, same methodology. We just copy, it's just exactly the same here. And then we say here, well, what was this? The order quantity, order item quantity, if I'm not mistaken. Save this, refresh, click, 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 plus, plus. Let's do the console log here. And then I say, I remove this. And if I deduct this, you can see here still the array recognize the original value. If I deduct this one, I do plus, since this, all right, all right. Uh, let's do plus, plus here, minus that. Then deduct that. There you are. So you can see now, this is all well connected with each other. So now we have this. In the next video, I'm going to focus on the total items here, where we're going to use probably a reduce function to calculate the amount of items we have if we click on these buttons here.